Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's your girl Kamis. So today I have a very sad story that was shared by a Nigerian influencer, Yemi Fash. And this is a, about a young Nigerian lady. She shared the story of, of how she met a man online and the man promised to take her to, 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 to Egypt, Cairo. But instead she was taken to Sudan. She was raped and the rest was such a sad story anyway guys the story is a long story is a little bit long i'm going to read it so you guys you can see what really happened and please i hope we all learn from this so you guys listen to what happened to this lady so you guys this is what yemi fash said a lady contacted me a few days ago from cairo in egypt she narrated how a man she met on Facebook lured her to leave Nigeria for Egypt to have a better life. Her story is so touching. I'll try to summarize it as short as possible. She said she met a man on Facebook who told her she could help her get to Egypt. She said, she said the man told her so many nice things about Cairo and how she could become a um, and how she could become a millionaire in a few months of working there. The man helped her with the visa and flight ticket. She finally left Nigeria in August 2021 and she was taken to Sudan instead of Cairo. She was received at the airport by the man she has been talking to on Facebook. When she asked why she was brought to Sudan instead of Cairo, the man told her the plane that would take her to Cairo will come in two weeks that she needs to wait for a while in Sudan. She followed the man home, her passport was taken away from her. This man turned her into a sex toy for two months until she got pregnant. When she noticed she was pregnant, she confronted the man and demanded to return to Nigeria if the Cairo trip was no longer possible. The next day, the man told her to prepare for Cairo, that the plane will, will land that day. He drove her to a motor park and gave her the passport she asked the man why they came to the park instead of the airport she was told there was no plane and that she would have to travel by route to cairo she was pushed into a truck and the man left the truck headed for the desert to connect cairo from sudan she said they were on the road for a couple of days without food and water and she was raped severely by different men she was raped to the extent that she lost the pregnancy and that the only left her when they noticed she was bleeding profusely they eventually got to cairo and another man was waiting to receive her she had lost all her belongings during the attacks of on the desert even her passport she only had the clothes she was wearing the man took her in and started sleeping with her forcefully for two weeks then the man got her a job with the white man who was paying her $350, $350 monthly. She eats food prepared for dogs and live under very dehumanizing de 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 condition. Out of the $350, the man who introduced her to the job collects $300 as repayment for money used to bring her to Cairo. They told her she has to repay $4 million in Naira as a cost implication to, for bringing her to Cairo. This, she said, was not told before. Now, she has to work to repay the, the said amount despite all she has gone through. I have read stories like this before now and I wonder why people still fall victim to this unpalatable experiences. I know times are hard in Nigeria, but this is not the way to go. This girl could have died in the desert and no one would have would ha would hear of her again my goodness guys this story is very sad and i was just checking on what many people were commenting and a lot of people said that this lady was not smart enough because how can somebody i mean you met somebody online you don't even know the person and then the person books a ticket for you to sudan instead of cairo so i mean like there are so many wrong things from the beginning I am not judging this lady, but from the look of things, the whole story is very, very sad that this lady had to go through. And like this man said that 
This woman would have died and nobody would have ever heard of. I mean, she was so lucky. But how does she come out from all this trauma? She has been raped severely. She is now working, being paid $350 every month. And the person that connected her collect 90% or 99% of the salary, which means the only money she gets is $50. $50, if I was to convert that, maybe that is like 25,000 Naira. Is it not better for you to live in Nigeria with that kind of money? What can you even buy with that sum of money? And imagine what she had to go through. So, I mean, I don't know what really this man she met online promised her, but it seems, you know, we are living in a world where that you, you don't need to trust anybody and you have to be very observant, especially if you want to move abroad to a stranger, you have to think very well. In fact, it's if the person want to sponsor you, it's rather the person to send you the money so that you can buy the ticket yourself. And then in the issue of accommodation, don't even allow anybody to, to host you. Maybe he could even give you the money so that you can book a hotel so that in the fa you meet him or her outside. You know, you don't have to go and be hosted by a stranger that you don't know. I mean, there's a lot of homework that one has to do. I know that things are really hard right now, but the risk, the re people are taking so many risks just in the name of going abroad. Abroad is not as it is. I left so many questions and somebody actually mentioned and said like, People think abroad is everything. No, abroad is not everything. In fact, it's the beginning of life. You just have to start from zero. And many people are still struggling here. So now this is very sad like to hear this kind of story, how the man duped her, take her to Sudan, used her, then later put her in a truck to Cairo. I mean, the lady has gone so much. I mean, she has gone through so much and... People, I mean, we should all learn from this story. And what I was even uh, reading from all the comments, people said that even after this story, people will still fall victim. It's as if we never learn from all these stories. So, like, it's very sad that um, people are still falling victim and traveling, making traveling moves, not even knowing where you are going. So, guys, from the look of things, this lady need help. She need a lot of help. She need to heal mentally, physically, spiritually, because everything about her life have been damaged. And where does she start from? How is she going to even save the money that will take her back to Nigeria? She said that they even took her passport. She doesn't have anything. So you guys, I hope that this story reaches well wishes that will help the lady. And if she's willing, let her go back to Nigeria because for her being in Cairo, in this kind of situation it's not even helping it's rather going to damage her more and um, before you pack your bags leaving your country please do homework like make sure where you are going make sure you are safe you know ask question ask somebody tells people you know you need to also tell people your moves even if it's one person or two person people tell them that this is where you are going and this is the whole plan you know somebody can even advise you and tell you are you sure do you trust the people you are going to meet are you really sure about this plan you know because if you sometimes if you keep quiet you just fall into the wrong hands at the end of the day your life is worth more than just you know packing your bags all in the name of going to abroad like this is so sad guys i don't know what you think about the whole situation let me know at the comment section thank you so much for tuning in see you in my next one